click the link below or go straight to MrLocario.com to get the documentary Game Kings, The Definition of Game. You know that <laughs> did you know that when you when you come in a woman's mouth, the sperm stays there for like three to five days. <laughs> so so listen, listen, this is what I'm saying, man. Like all, all y'all motherfuckers that's worried about body counts and chicks fucking around. Listen, understand when you're going on these dates, when you fucking with these women, right? You're 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 probably, you know what I'm saying, like kissing a chick <laughs> and she got sperm in the mouth. So mm. just some just something for y'all to think about the next time you're making out with a chick. You understand? You <laughs> yo, bro. This is this is why they don't fuck with us. This is why they don't fuck with us. This is why they don't fuck with us, man. God damn it. And, 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 and exactly. Oh. And, and, and Abel said the dentist could see it in the x-ray too. That's the crazy part. When, oh, when you go to, you go to the dentist. Yes. No, <laughs> let, let, let me tell you how nasty it is. And I'm not gonna tell the whole story. But a chick will have sex, let a nigga bust in her, mm-hmm. and then the next day have you eat her out. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> On the same that. night. They without, do that. Without without yeah, facts. You do that. <laughs> you, oh my god. You, you, you down there, you down there and, and that pube in, in your teeth is not hers, nigga. It's, it's <laughs> the dude that came in there before you. <laughs> and this is some real shit. Like I, I can't I don't want to tell the whole story. It, it's because when, when I heard the whole story, and I'm like, I, I'm, and I'm, I'm gonna kill that bitch. And this is the greatest <laughs> part about it. You'll never know. You'll never actually exactly. know. You'll never know. Like y'all be thinking like you know you have zero nasty. Idea. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's in the nastiest yeah, part. In a good way. That's why. That's why. That's why we're and see. And this is the type of shit that we're trying to help you guys out with. We're trying to get you guys in a position to minimize that type of shit. <laughs> we want to get you guys in a position where you go out on a date with a bitch and then you go home with a bitch and fuck the bitch. Mm-hmm. So if anybody's having that type of shit happen to them, it's the next nigga she fucking. <laughs> not you. He's stupid. No, but she just came from another nigga fucking. No, but no, that's what I'm saying. That's what I feel. There's no way to escape it, Miles. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's no way to escape it. I, I, I tried to I tried to logic my way out this too. Right, right, no right. It. That's the fucked up part. Oh, or you know, you know what's really fucked up? It's when you have sex with a chick and she moaning, but it ain't you. Is she sore from the last nigga? Oh, you know what I'm saying? That beat it up. Oh, <laughs> you, 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 she, 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 she all gentle on the dick, like, ooh, ooh. and you're like, oh, yeah, girl. It's a big dick, huh? It's like, no, the last nigga was bigger than you. He's a big ass sore. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, it's, it's real in the field. Yo, yeah, I'm it's telling you. <laughs> man, I remember I was with this chick once and we, we was fucking around or whatever. And she forgot that she had a date that night. So we was fucking, you know, like when you fuck and then you be chilling in the bed, like just relaxing after y'all, you know, do your thing. So we just chilling and she just jumped wait, up. Wait, with, wait, let me find out. Lakari was over here cuddling with a bitch, but go nah, ahead. Nah, so we, we just laying there and she just said, She's out of the blue. We was in, she was in like mid sentence telling me something. And she said, Oh shit. I said, What? She's like, I'm supposed to meet this guy tonight, right? So this chick just put on her fucking pants, put on her panties, and, and walked out the house. And she just like she left me in the house. She said, just just close, you know, she had one of them doors that lock when you just close okay. it. Yeah. She said, just, just close the door on your way out. Son, wow. she didn't take a shower. She didn't brush her teeth. You understand? None of that shit. She went straight to the date. Oh my God. No shower, none of that shit. That's what I mean when I say, because, all right, when I said what I said, what I meant was, because I've been in it, I've been the type of nigga that I'll get to a bitch house and she'll answer the door just coming out the shower. Right. Then she'll go get dressed and then we'll leave. Right. And come back later and fuck. fuck so right. What I'm saying is that when you're in that type of situation, it minimizes it. But right, still, right, right. she could have just finished. You know, like an hour or a half hour before I got there, some nigga could have probably just left. But at least like coming out the shower. Right. Yeah. This, is what, this is what you guys need to tell the chicks you fucking with. Tell them this. Be like, listen, listen. Tell the chick, be like, yo, be like, listen, I know you fucking other dudes. And she can be like, no, what are you talking about? I'm not that type. Listen, shut the fuck up. I know this is what you do. All I'm saying is, could you please, please take a shower and brush your fucking teeth before I see you ever? Like, that's all I'm asking. Could you please wash And and Listerine will kill the sperm cells. Exactly. Can you put some Listerine and some, can you wash your mouth out twice before? You understand what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling you, have those conversations with these women, bruh.
Hey. <laughs> and, and, and and never and never fuck on the sheets if they don't smell like dryer, the dryer pad. Because right. the other nigga's skin cells is still there. Right. So you laying on the other nigga's butt juice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that little streak in the bed. You know what I'm saying? Nigga's butt juice when the other nigga when the bitch was riding up. The other nigga's skin cells is all on your body. Look, this is some real shit. Like we, ju- we, we, we having fun with it, but, but women is nasty as fuck. Well, it's so <laughs> real. It's I'm so real. You. Yo, it's so real. Cause when cause when when the main chick is coming to the crib, she'd be like, yo, make sure you change them fucking sheets. Right. Yo, Fuck listen. Shit. Listen, I remember I was in a fucking I was in I was in a situation where it was me and these two chicks and this other dude. I was at a I was at a party. Yeah. And we was at an event. And then and then I'm 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 just kicking it with this one 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 chick. Yeah. And her friend comes through. So then me and her friend and the girl is talking. So it's me and these two girls, these two ladies talking. And then another dude comes into the conversation. So it's us four. So the lady says, yo, do y'all want to, she said to me and the other guy, do y'all want to come back to my place and we can hang out there? So we was like, all right, fuck it. Let's go. Right. (laughs) Son, this nigga. Okay. So one of the girls I'm kissing and shit, right. Then she ends up going down on the, the other dude. And then she comes up and tries to kiss me. And I did one of these, like, I mushed her face over that way. Like, what the fuck are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, what are you doing? Like, I'm not kissing you for the rest of the night. It's over. It's done. You're finished. Oh, right. <laughs> right. Our kissing is done. You feel me? Like, <laughs> like, like it's a wrap. Like, kissing what are you doing? Time, kissing time is over. Time is over. You feel That's me? All you can do after this Bro. point is suck dick. That's all exactly. you can do. Right. Bro. Bro, I've 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 I've, I've been in, in trains where a, a dude was about to do that shit. I'm like, nigga, right? She just suck like four dicks, nigga. What the fuck is you doing? Exactly. Or, or especially after nigga that climbed up out of it, a nigga trying to eat the pussy. I'm like, stop! What are you doing? What the fuck is you doing? <laughs> like, like, God damn it! <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to save you from yourself, nigga. I'm. I swear, <laughs> man. I'm telling you, when you guys see this shit, <laughs> you're gonna be like. What the fuck? Like I'm telling you, it's it's ridiculous. Nah, it's, 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 it's it's wild. It can get wild out here. It can get real nasty out here, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> that's, Yo. that's why I, that's why I prefer to go first and then I let the other niggas do their thing. Oh, yeah, y'all niggas want to roast and expose me for having only 25, 26 bitches in my life. <laughs> Listen, nigga, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Okay. Y'all niggas can keep y'all hundred. <laughs> I'm all, <laughs> yo, mom's coming here. Gonna be all right. Trust me, nigga. Yo, Fuck the, the, the more women you have sex with, you're gonna see some of the nastiest, most disgusting. What? It's crazy. It, I'm you, it's, it's, it'll break your heart. It's, so, it's not for the faint of heart. Some of uh, you, you know, the internet, y'all will lose your mind. Okay. Y'all, 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 I, and I say this all the time, bro. A lot, the main reason why a lot of you niggas is having trouble with bitches is because y'all seriously don't have the heart for this shit. Right. Exactly. Like, like, listen to the shit that we talk about right now. Like, do you really have the 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 will the willingness mm-hmm. to 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 fucking make out with a bitch and you don't know shit? Like, you don't know nothing about this hoe, right? <laughs> Is that- you don't know nothing, but you know you're attracted to her. You know y'all been having a dope conversation, and you you moving into kiss abroad, mm-hmm. and you literally don't know that two hours ago, two hours ago, she was sucking Lucario's dick. And not even that. Imagine you with a chick you, you fucking with and you like this girl. You're like, damn, this could be the, the, the chick. And then she come over your house and she can't fuck you because her pussy sore. Right. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you, don't break the you know, what's even more fucked up, all these body count niggas, some of these women that we talking about are married with with families. Right. And they niggas don't even know exactly. how nasty they really are. So y'all talking about worried about a woman's body count? They're not going to tell you that. Right. It's not just the amount of men, it's the type of sex she's having. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Where where she might have, you know, 50, 50 dudes in, in her body count, but she slept with five of them on the same night at the same time. Mm-hmm. You will never know that. Right. Ever. Listen, I, I was watching some, uh, <clears throat> uh, shout out to Steve Harvey, because he got this thing on his radio show called The Strawberry Letter. Right. And so there's people writing stories about the love life or whatever. And this one guy, he had a story well, he said he came home and saw what three cars in his driveway. Oh shit! And saw his three kids playing out in the yard. Mm. Went inside, found his his wife of like six years or some shit mm. with with uh, two dudes and another woman. Mm. That's crazy. And, and 
after he kicked everybody out and had a conversation with her, she was like, yo, I've been cheating on you for like the past five years. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> yo, y'all yeah, niggas, look, I ra- I'd rather, I'd, y'all niggas, you know, get on, get on dudes uh, for, if I have open relationships and all this type of shit, right. but I'd rather do that and have a bitch be up front with me. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, so, exactly. At least I could be like, all right, bitch, before you come back, you know, before you come back over here, you know, hit the bathroom. Exactly, right, right. You know what I'm right. saying? Get the, get the tooth, get, get the fucking Listerine and all that, and then come see me. Like, at least. Mm-hmm. You know, you know least, what? My, 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 my you know what I mean? Miles and L, we, we, we didn't fucked up. We, we, we didn't push a lot of these niggas to MGTOW. We this nigga, these yeah, niggas, these niggas, they, they stop watching. These niggas going over there to to incel for me. I'm like, I'm done with these women. I can't take it. Shout out to Sammy. He about to do a video called "Do You Know How Nasty Women Are?" <laughs> right. Women are nasty. They suck dick and lick taint. <laughs> <laughs> man here talking about how nasty women really are are you do you seriously want to have sex with a woman or kiss a woman with sperm still in her mouth that you can see on an x-ray no you don't sad man here you know what i'm saying like it's gonna be like that for these niggas right <laughs> Yo, <I swear. laughs> No, but shout out to Sam Mando. No, 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 no disrespect. But I can hear it. You know what I'm saying? I can just hear it. No, nah, shout out to Sam. Sam actually did a, a review of the How to Have Sex to Him in the Day book. So shout out to him. You know oh, what I'm saying? There we go. And so, but yo, it's crazy. I'm telling you, y'all, y'all got to understand, man. Like, it's, and, and this is the thing. There's no escape to this shit, bro. This is why dudes be trying to search for virgins and all that other shit. And it's the funny part. You know what virgins do? Virgins suck the most dick. What? You know what I'm saying? Bro, what? Bro, I, I, I got some stories. <laughs> Tell me we got some time. Virgin <laughs> stuck the most dick and they get fucked in the ass a lot because they're trying to preserve the, the, the vagina. You understand? Bro. What I'm v- virgins are nastier than some women with a high body count. Exactly, right? I've, I've literally been in, a, in, in an apartment with five dudes sitting on a couch. And a, and a chick that claimed she was a virgin was sucking everybody off, had nut all over her face. Mm. And like she had multiple babies and DNA all over her lips. and Bro. <laughs> but she, she wouldn't let nobody fuck. Mm. But she was sucking mad dick and everybody was busting all in her motherfucking tonsils and, and her hair and shit. <laughs> no, she, 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 she was like one of them German goo girls and shit. Like straight up and down. Oh my God. That's crazy. So I'm telling you. <laughs> y'all gotta understand how, 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 how nasty certain chicks could get, bro. Yo, I I know I know chicks personally who they they came up in a strict family and were afraid to lose their virginity, mm-hmm. and they were yeah that happens. I they was letting cousins fuck them in the ass. Oh my god, like Nigga. cousins, like 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 second cousin second cousins, but not not I don't even know. But there was there was there was cousins. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So if she's doing that type of shit with her cousins, right? It's crazy. Imagine what she was doing with niggas at school and all, bro. It's not. Nah. Oh, remember that. Remember that. That that porn star Aurora, Aurora Jolie. Remember her? Right. Mm-hmm. She was. She her claim to fame was that she was a virgin and she only did anal scenes. Right. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. And that's what a lot of the virgins be doing. So I, it's like no matter which way you go, no matter which way you turn to, they're doing something. And the crazy part is, is that you have you don't know what they're doing. Right. You don't know how much they've been doing. And you right. don't know what they've been doing. And it, and people, see, guys be trying to figure out, should they be like, oh, well, you could probably tell if she's a freak, if she has tattoos, or if she does this, or if she, no, that's all speculation. You have no idea. You don't know if the girl's going or coming. You don't know if, you 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 thinking, oh, I smashed this shit, right? Yo, yo get this, get this, Lucario, get this shit. He said, he said, he said Lucario, no disrespect, but why you be kissing on the first date knowing this stuff? Because it don't matter when you kiss her. It could be the first date, second date, third date, 20th date. If okay, let's say you went on a three dates with a girl and you haven't kissed that girl, right? And then you on the fourth date, you go kiss the girl, right? She could be the same chick that I just talked about that jumped out the bed. You understand what I'm saying? And went and, and went to see the nigga. You, right. Women are doing this all the time. So what I'm saying is either you got one or two things you can do. You either still kiss chicks or you never kiss chicks again in your life. That's it. 
Yo, two yeah, options. <laughs> even with, even with everything I know, I still like kissing bitches. You feel right. me? So it is what it is. Yeah. So that's I, what I'm saying. Bro, so this, if, this, I'm, if I'm in a train like Kay Zagan and she and she just done getting the uh, <laughs> right, exactly. If that's a different story, like I can see, you just finished doing this shit. I'm I'm good. Like I'm good. But this one thing. You 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 have there's no escape. This is what we're trying to tell these dudes. This is why this is why I say like because you know a lot of guys. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to this call real quick. Seven one seven. A lot of guys what they you know they'll say shit like, oh Locario, I don't understand like how how are you in open relationship and that's crazy. And I'm like, bro, do you realize that you're doing the same exact thing with women that you're dating and fucking and it's the same shit. Right. But you're just calling it different. It's like it's like me saying right. it's like saying if I eat eggs in the morning. And I call it breakfast, but then I eat eggs at night and call it dinner. I'm still eating fucking eggs. It doesn't matter what the fuck I'm calling it. It's still eggs, right? So it don't matter if I call it breakfast or dinner. <laughs> Look, there's a reason why the first time I meet a bitch, I'm inviting her out to drink. You know why? Because the alcohol kills the sperm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Hey, bitch, you want to do some shots? <laughs> right. You could get that fucking 100% vodka mm-hmm. and 44 proof vodka in the back of her throat mm-hmm. to kill all, you know, to kill all the sperm cells. And then, right. the end of the day, that's when we start making out and shit. You feel me? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my Yo, god! I feel bad, niggas. Yeah. You think about this the next time you're about to yeah, see, bro. See, yeah, we 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 been fucked up. We, we been been fucked up, bro. Guys, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. We didn't mean to do this to y'all, man. I'm sorry. We gonna, we, we, we we up. Your chick gonna be giving them the googly eyes and shit like she wanna, yeah. and the nigga gonna be looking at her like. Yo, <laughs> y'all niggas who just love to like you know pick bitches up and take them straight back to the crib, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. That's the ones. That's the ones. You might be number two for the day, bro. You understand? <laughs> Those dudes who are really about that, they they like the dude said in the chat. Somebody said in the chat, you got to be a savage out here, right? And those dudes who really just pick up broads and take them back to the crib, that's savage behavior. Like you don't, like you know, but it's like, see, let me tell you something. Courage, right? Is uh, courage and confidence is not not being afraid, right? right? Courage is being afraid and still doing what you really want to do. Right. You understand? So we can, if you having knowledge of this is not going to deter you. It's just you being aware of the truth and understanding what you're getting into when you decide to like, you know, to frolic with these hoes. You understand? Right. Because right. the only to live, this is the only way you can get around this. You got to meet a chick, right? And you got to go on a date with her. Don't kiss her. Then you got to invite her to your place and have her stay at your place for three to five days. And shower. And shower and make sure that she's not kissing. She doesn't invite any other niggas while you're at work to your house and, you know, have her under surveillance. You might want to put her in a cage to make sure she don't get out of the cage so that you can... <laughs> just like ass these, niggas, these niggas is looking to COVID-19 sanitized bitches before they fuck. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right. Wait, you say you had a call? Let's get, let's get to this call real quick and then we'll get to AD's uh question. So let's go to let's go to 717. What's popping? Who this? Yo, what's good, man? It's Harvey Only Taylor. I donated on Cash App. Appreciate it. What's going on? Yeah, so I just want to say about what y'all talking about. My first girlfriend, like you always say, getting your heart broke. My first girlfriend was like that. I used to see her go across the street, fuck people in the corner store. I see her walk around the corner, get in the cab and do all that. So, you know, it really go down like that. And that helped me get my mind right because my first girl was like that. Wait, you nigga, hold on. Wait, let me, it, hold on. Wait, so your first, hold on. Your first girlfriend was, was sucking niggas off in cabs. Is that what you said? Nah, yeah, like, nah, like my first girlfriend I had, yeah, like she was fucking with the, the dude at the corner store. I seen her walking down the street, fucking dudes in a cab. And at this time I was a simp. I have no reason to lie. I looked in her phone, all these dudes like, yo, this is so-and-so, meet me here. She like, I'm by my man. He like, all right, hit me when he's not around. Now I should have left, but I was a simp, you know? So that's why I stayed. That was the only girl I had. So, you know, it was, it was, I was limited, you know? Wow, that's great. Right. Well, yo, yo, thanks for sharing that experience because it's real out there, bro. It's, yeah. it's, it's real out there. Yeah, it is real. It's right. real. Yeah, and, and, before, and before I go, before I go, I just want to say this to everybody talking. Why y'all keep trying to impress Locario and them, man? They don't give a fuck, yo. Stop trying to impress them. Oh, I did this with bitches. I'm that nigga. If you that nigga, why you calling, dog? Right. If you really that nigga, stop doing all that. Y'all be trying to impress them, man. They here to help. That's all I got, y'all. I'm out. 
Appreciate right. it, bro. Appreciate it, right. my brother. Right. Oh. Carla, that, that, that was that was some real shit. You yeah. know, most yeah. niggas never never want to share when they yeah. was vulnerable and, and exactly. the shit played them and shit. Right. So, AT, <clears throat> can you further explain how ladies have asked uh, me when was the last time I had sex? I told them the night before. Not only did they still have sex with me and tried to outdo the previous girl. Oh, of course, X. of course. That always that, that's the shit right there. That that be happening. Comp- competition is inspirational. You know what I'm saying? Right. Competition is inspirational, and every bitch out there thinks she got the platinum pussy. Mm-hmm. All of them do. Yeah, no doubt. All of them think they got the fucking the the fucking sun between their legs. You feel me? So right. yeah, they, they'll do that. That's that's real shit. And, and and honestly, that's why it 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 pays to be honest with a bitch. Right. Yeah. It's like, oh, when was the last thing I said? Oh, well, I haven't had sex in about three years. Huh? You yeah. know, I'm a nice guy. I don't. Bitch is looking at you like this sorry, this sorry ass nigga. He probably ain't gonna fuck good. But right. you, exactly. Oh, oh yeah, I had, a, I had a bitch riding the cock last night. She's gonna be like, oh, word, let's see if she could do better than me. And then there you go. You know, you know it's funny. I remember I, there was this chick I used to hook up with, and it was the funniest shit. Like, she would want me to tell her like details about me fucking with other chicks while I'm fucking her. Mm. And so we'd be fucking and she'd be like, oh, she's she's like oh, so did you have her legs back like this? And oh, did you do this to her? And I'm like, damn, like, what the fuck? You know, what I'm saying? And I remember when I first met her, it was like that we was kissing on a date and she started it. Then she was like, she's like, oh, do you kiss all your girls like this? Oh, do you? Do you I'm like, damn, like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit crazy. We, we told, we told these, these girls is nasty. <laughs> like, bro, I, I, I remember one time I. I in a good way. I was fucking, yeah, in a good way. I remember one yeah. time I was fucking this white chick. She said, do you have a do-rag in Timberlands? <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to God. I swear to God. She wanted me to fuck it with some Tims on and the, the do-rag on, bro. She, yo, I, she, I, 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 she wanted the full nigga experience, nigga. That's what she wanted, nigga. So, so, so guess what I did? I went to the closet, put on the Tims, and I had a do-rag and put that shit on. So, <laughs> right. <laughs> Hey, 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 K-Zag, did you step on her face while you're sitting in front of the back, like, with the Tim's? No, no, I didn't do that. <laughs> I, I, I came from... Now, I, I, did, I, did, I did slap her, because I, I do like slapping bitch when I'm fucking... Right. Nigga, <laughs> 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 nah, you should have pulled out a knife and robbed the bitch and then fucked her. She would have liked that. <laughs> nah, but, 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 I, but I did, but I did, I, I did make her tell me she, she, she loved nigga dick. I said, you love nigga dick? And she was like, I love black dick. I said, I say, say nigga. <laughs> so I did. Oh, I did by the way, bitch, this is the only time you can say nigga to me. All right, go ahead. No, I'm gonna have to clip this shit. Oh, shit. Oh, nah, yeah, this this whole fucking uh, show is clipping. Uh, this whole this whole uh, segment I gotta clip. Jesus, oh, Christ. Shit. Wow. And, and that's a real story. I'm not bullshitting on, on, on my mama's grave. That shit yeah. happened. <laughs> I ain't going front. I remember the first time I seen a uh, porn when 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 the white uh, girl told my oh I love me some nigga dick. I was like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> that's, that's racist. What's going on here? <laughs> I'm, sitting, I'm, I'm sitting there jerking off like, yo, this shit is mad fucking racist. Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh shit! <laughs> yo, yo, do not send this video to the Black Lives Matter movement. Don't do, <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Don't do that shit. <laughs> yo. Oh my uh, god! Oh, man. Oh. Uh, this shit is wild. Look, look, do you stories. own a pair of Tims? And and do you yes. own a do you own a pair of Tims and a do rag? And maybe if I'm lucky, do you do you have a Swisher Sweets on you? <laughs> Or, or, or a black and mild. I would just love for you to fuck me while while you're smoking a black and mild, please. Oh my god! <laughs> These white chicks be stereotyping like a motherfucker, even in bed and shit. They be stereotyping oh, like a motherfucker. Oh, They're like, I that's... just happen to have some Tim's and Durant. I'm like, hey, okay, I can oblige you. And could you could you do you have a white wife beater as well? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh my god! You're like, no, I got I got oh, one. one. Oh, okay, forget it. I need the white one. Oh <laughs> my god! Yo, Yo it's crazy. Nah, it's it's crazy. It's like that, man. <laughs> so like that, man. Uh, uh, bro, it's so <laughs> like. like Hi, right, let me let me look. Yeah. Look how 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 about you you driving? Mm. And the bitch is like, yeah. I love giving head while while a nigga's driving. <laughs> oh. 
Like, bro, oh, my, I, I, like oh my god, like, like, like that's like a, uh, you know, you know, like how niggas got a bucket list or shit they trying to accomplish before they, yeah, do. right. <clears throat> they, 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 they've like, I've never, like, I, I've, I've never. Either they say they never, mm-hmm. or they say they love doing it. But either way, I'm driving, getting, getting dome, and I'm like, yo, these, these hoes. Yeah, I just bro, got they, they, they you, nasty, just gotta, bro. you just gotta love them. I, I do love I love it. That's what I'm saying. And that's why that's why when I hear dudes talking all this, you know, oh chicks riding the hot carousel and and body counts and oh these sluts. I'm like, nigga, have you not been the recipient of the sluttiness? What are you talking about? <clears throat> like just like you said, Miles, when that WAP song came out, you was like, yo, I love that shit. Right. You know what I'm saying it's like, like <laughs> Like, yo, that's some real shit. <laughs> I remember I went to a fast food restaurant. It was a drive through It's a uh, burger joint called Whataburger down here in Texas. Mm-hmm. And and we was I was ordering, and a chick was sucking my dick while I was ordering. Wow. So we, we pull up, we pull up to the to the to the drive to the drive thing to get the food. And I tell her, I said, stop. You know, you know, they're gonna see. And she was like, let them see. <laughs> I'm like, but what if it's a I'm like, but it could be a teenager, a little kid or some shit. And she was like, I want them to see. Your dick in my mouth, and I'm like, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm on the road, the motherfucker look like this. She, all in the drive. Look, these chicks is nasty. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> and it was her idea, it wasn't even my idea. I'm right. like, stop sucking the dick. Some people might I'm see the shit. She's like, you, let bro. them see it. I'm telling you, bro, it's ridiculous, man. I'm they just nasty out here. Yo, y'all have. If they're if they feeling you, oh, shit. Yo, no. if they feeling you would that's what see, and that's the that's that's the part right there why niggas think we bullshitting, bro. Right. That's the part right that that little part right there is why niggas think we bullshitting because they can't fathom mm-hmm. the we talking about. Right. They can't fathom it, bro. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. I, I, I once fucked with a girl, she couldn't kiss me without unbuckling my pants. Right. Mm-hmm. Like we've never like you know them chicks where you where you can make out with them. Mm-hmm. I couldn't make out with this bitch because right. anytime I kissed her, it turned into sex. Every right. Time. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like, I'm looking, I'm like, I'm thinking about saying, bitch, you can't, you can't go, you can't go without unbuckling my pants for a minute. Like, can I can I feel how your mouth feel? Can I feel how your tongue feel just for a little while? Right. This bitch, soon as she and I hear my fucking my my belt getting undone, and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> like, Fuck it. What what am I do? What am I do? It's crazy. And, because look, dick is a gift. Is that nigga playing out with the? What's going on? It's your boy Miles Cunningham, and what I want to talk about today is the Bad Boy Membership Contest. All you have to do to be eligible to win the Bad Boy Membership Contest is to be a Bad Boy member. See, what we realize is that when guys join the Bad Boy Membership, they make the transition from simp to player very quickly. And we're just trying to make that transition just a little bit easier. So here's what you get if you win the Bad Boy Membership Contest. So here's what you receive if you win the Bad Boy Membership Contest. A bottle of Bad Boy Cologne by Carolina Herrera, New York. A luxury designer timepiece and a hundred dollar gift card to increase your chances of winning share this post in your story tag three friends and subscribe to mr. Lucario or the Miles Cunningham YouTube channel the link is in the bio and follow real mr. Lucario and miles in the game on Instagram the winner will be announced at the first of the month Good luck. Click the link below and get your bad boy gear. Get the t-shirts, submissive women are sexy, binary as fuck, and I'm God to these hoes. Click the link below to get your bad boy gear today. Now, before you go, click the link below and go to badboymembership.com. Now, badboymembership.com is a place where you go to get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Listen, I know you're tired of being rejected. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of being afraid to approach women. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of not getting the women that you want. Go to badboymembership.com. Listen, I know you're tired of being alone on a Friday night. Go to badboymembership.com. Now picture this. 
You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com, follow the steps, learn the game, implement the game, and then you will get the woman you want. Make sure you go to badboymembership.com today. Click the link below.